Trying to figure out what I'm going to do about this four link suspension. I was able to uh, get the bottom links uh, pretty much set up from the cross member that I had installed here. Uh, and they're running pretty much parallel with the frame. But uh, I've got to figure out the top link here. Originally the four link was going to sit somewhere, somewhere right about where the seat was. Ideal mounting point is probably right about here. Uh, further back on the frame. And the problem with it sitting there is I've read that you can't really weld to this uh, this big old section of, uh, of the Ford 8.8 .8 rear end. This is uh, cast steel as opposed to milled steel. So I kind of took a cue from uh, the off-road community. And I saw this idea of essentially building a truss. Uh, the truss would go Pretty much right over top of the right over top of that second center section there. And that gives me a solid welding point to install my four link. So this was attempt number one. Um, the biggest problem that I ran into with this is after shaping it and getting it all ready to go, I realized that I had very little uh, area to weld onto the axle. Uh, I'm afraid that that's just not quite going to be strong enough. So I'm on to plan B already. Plan B, very similar to truss design. I drew it, uh, drew myself up a truss uh, basically from the off-road community. It looks like there's a bunch of Jeep guys that have been taking these Ford 8.8s uh, and strengthening them up with the truss. I don't really need the extra strength. Uh, shouldn't be doing too much off-roading. Uh, with the Model A, but it does give me a very strong mounting surface to put those four links right on top there. Starting out my template, uh, I just got some cardboard here and I cut a little curve, kind of played with it around a little bit. I take the cardboard, turn that into a uh, wooden template. Um, I cut some Cut some speed holes in it here just to kind of um, give it something a little more exciting, a little more, um, a little more style. I think that looks pretty good. to share a little diagram we started off with and you can see I've been uh, doing a bit of welding and fabricating put together what I'm calling my bat wings uh, we've got some bat wings across the bottom there uh, and they're in a pretty good place uh, I've tacked in the plate that goes on top and the original plan was to seat the upper forelink uh, the triangulated portion of the forelink right on top of that plate and I've already run into a problem that you can see here. I'm probably looking at maybe about three inches of suspension travel and uh, I'll be hitting the, the bottom of the floor. So I think I'm going to have to rethink this a little bit and uh, I got a little bit lucky. So the luck has it that I probably have just about enough room to get those four links underneath that plate as opposed to on top. That's going to give me at least enough suspension travel that uh, if I'm driving down the road I don't I don't hear too much uh, knocking on the old uh, floor here. 
So I'm glad I tacked this in and kind of played with it a little bit first. Um, overall, bat wings are looking pretty good. A um, few things not working out. Cutting a circle with the plasma cutter freehand um, kind of left a bit of a mess there. So I gotta decide if I'm gonna clean that up or not. Got my cutting, my welding, my grinding in. Still see the bat wings that you have on the sides. That's what connects to the axle. Also added this top plate here, which worked out quite well. It's a quarter inch plate of steel and actually connects all of the various pieces here with some nice solid welds. I took my time on this piece because I wanted each of these brackets, the bat wings and this top section to have some really solid welds between them all. And the best way to do that was to make sure that I was doing it in steps. As I went up, I was able to really get uh, the welder in here and connect it together. Same thing with paint. So I put a coat of paint on here. I used VHT uh, chassis black paint. Um, did, a, did a couple of coats over this, but I haven't connected this to the axle yet. What worked out really well for me so I still wasn't quite happy with a little bit of flex that I noticed in the bat wings. I have a feeling this is going to be taking a lot of pressure as the car drives down the road. So I wanted to have a little extra confidence that this was going to stay on the vehicle. I welded in a section, uh, a tube down the front here. This tube connects with three bolt holes. It's actually uh, stock as part of the... 8.8 uh, .8 rear end. The pumpkin has what looks like a panhard bar bracket. So I took the bolts out of that. That left the holes behind. And just built myself a little plate that I could, could connect it to. Alright everyone, been working all day. Hot, tired, but I'm really excited. I bolted in the cross member, uh, or not the cross member, I bolted in the axle uh, truss that I had put together. The four link is in. Um, I got all excited and didn't record it, but I also have uh, the shock mounts in as well. Uh, some simple welding and some brackets across the top there. Uh, really made it fit nicely inside of there. You can see at the end of the four link suspension, I've included the uh, brackets that I showed earlier in there as well. So I wanted to share with you, this is the first time this rear end has actually been able to sit on its own. So we're going to give it a try and uh, see if this actually works or if it all falls apart. Well, that's one side. Seems to be okay there. Pop it over on the other side here. This is pretty exciting. All right, I'll drop the other side down here as well. There she is, I'm pretty sure it's sitting on suspension now. engineering test basically jump up and down on it if nothing breaks then uh, I think we're in good shape yeah got a working forwarding suspension a little bit of uh, testing going on here just to make sure that I'm uh, nice and level on the wheels nice and level on that all frame maybe about 0.2 degrees off at the moment yeah that's gonna be beautiful 0.2 I don't think anyone will even notice.